All right, I'm here with Tony Kanan. The guy needs no introduction whatsoever. And, and Tony, we're sort of talking about rookies here at Indy. Do you remember when you were a rookie at Indy? Like you, like rookie like you. Rookie like me. Right. Uh, actually, can I ask you how can I get a job like yours? Not driving because I have one, but like, how can you be so cool in a camera like that, you know? Years of practice, my friend. I'll, I'll teach you. We'll set up some classes. We'll, we'll work something out, all right? You teach me maybe a little something about the Speedway. I'll teach you a little something about the microphone. I don't think I need to teach you anything, but uh, yes, I do remember my rookie year. How old are you? 24. Yeah, you're in your diapers when I was here for the first time. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun, though, Hinchek. I remember that uh, the biggest thing, and I believe you have it too now, is like, you want to be the fastest rookie, you know? And, and that was uh, my first goal. It wasn't even about winning the 500 or anything, and I was. And you get to, have to go to this breakfast that they present you, this... The, it's the first trophy of the month, so basically, if you do that, <laughs> you're gonna have a trophy before anybody else, which is it's awesome. And I have it like a, it's like a 500 trophy on my trophy cases. It's like the fastest rookie on that year and the, at the 85. And that was in 19, Jesus, 1990, 2000, 99, 99. All right, all right. So, all right, do you remember who the second fastest rookie was that year? No. It doesn't really matter. I mean, why? you never remember second place, right? Second is the first loser, isn't it? All right. He remembers, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> now, this place, this place can bite you. This is a tricky place. What advice, as a seasoned veteran, can you give to me as a rookie when I try and qualify for the, my first 500 and try and race my first 500? Well, I saw your tweet this morning saying, uh, give me some uh, advice on weather. That was the wrong question to ask to anybody because anybody can predict <laughs> anything. So days like this will get you anxious. And I think uh, the biggest thing I can tell you is respect the racetrack. And that's all. I mean, it's not about being greedy or not. You're a good race car driver and, and, and we know we're talented. But uh, this track is, uh, you got to respect it a lot. When you think you have it, she can, she can throw it at you and say, eh, you're nobody here. So uh, respect. Respect. I like it. All right. Lesson one of the day. Respect the track. Okay, that's the same for like, you need a new shoe. I'll give you one. I'm you see, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a high earning Indy car driver yet like you, like you old guys. Please, please. If you don't have money to buy shoes, with all this money they pay you to do those, these interviews, you're in trouble. But if you need, what size are you? I'll buy you one. All guys, right. actually, let's do this. Hench. One of the fastest rookies in the 500, he needs a driving shoes. If there is any company, Alpine Stars, I think it is the best. So I, I would pray, I'll call the guys at Alpine. What color do you want? I like white. I like, white's good. No, because white's going to look like trash at the end. You're going to ask me for another one. So exactly. A black. A black. I like the go and stop. All right, how about this? How about we try and get someone to get a pair of racing boots that have In a, green, a green toe on the right foot and a red toe on the left foot. If this can happen, I think we're right. I think you and I should make these and we'll sell them and we'll split the profit. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. That's a, I'll do the design, you do the selling. You look like you can sell a lot better than me. I'm not that pretty. You know, look at my nose and you, you're pretty. Hey, hey you, hey, you and me both, no, I'm no, catching up. I'm I make, catching I make up. it look like nothing in comparison to mine. I had the biggest nose in lights. I graduated any car and it all went downhill. Well, you proud of that? I mean, I mean, you got to embrace it, man. It's like we're getting rid of them. No, my, my nose is not big. My face, it's too small, actually. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Kanan.